Hey everyone, it's mother f January 2021. So you better have your shit together. Oh wait, you don't? Me neither. Oh God, okay, so <laughs> the, the new year is a weird time, isn't it? It's just a weird time. We are expected to be on our game and this new amazing person we're meant to have figured everything out right we we had the first of january to figure everything out so by now we should be absolutely bossing it we should be hitting the gym like seven times a day we should have already made progress towards our dream job we should be not eating bread or whatever it is that we promised ourselves why why do we put these crazy restrictions on this time of year for me january is about reflecting 100%. It's about reflecting on the things that you love, the things you want to keep and the things you want to change. But over the years, it's evolved to certainly not become <laughs> the land of broken promises because it's a really difficult time. Everyone around you is already changing things. The weather's sh shitty. It's gray, you know, you're not allowed to eat things or whatever's going on or whatever promises you've made that you feel like you need to keep. It's not a time for trying to change everything en masse. Just be gentle with yourself. Be realistic about what you can achieve at this time. And it's okay to just want to fold inwards and not do any of it. That is progress, that is evolution in itself. And that's certainly where I am at this year. Like. I definitely had my fair share of reflecting time over Christmas and I've definitely made notes and I journaled about the things that I wanted to keep, the things I wanted to change, the, the aims and my dreams for 2021 and I think that's a massively important exercise and I would encourage you to do the same thing. But what I promised myself <laughs> which is around about New Year's resolution, I guess, is that I wouldn't hold myself to these crazy standards knowing that I wouldn't be able to stick to them at this time of the month that I find quite difficult. I find it quite hard when the sun isn't shining and there isn't a blue sky. I find it quite hard to be pushed back into work when I really just feel like folding inwards on myself and just reflecting on things. So it's a struggle and I'm sure I'm not alone in that. So maybe instead of trying to list all the things that you want to change and, and worrying about changing them all at once you just use this time to reflect and do what you can if you're able to stick to your new year's resolution straight away and do all these amazing things and that's what keeps you going in january do that that's absolutely amazing if you are more like me and you feel the need to just be calm and centered and really have a lot of self-care, I guess, in January. Not that you shouldn't have that for the rest of the year, but in particular, you find the need to really like nurture your soul and be there for yourself a lot more, then do that. Don't let the external pressures of other people setting New Year's resolutions and feeling like you have to change everything all at once because the truth is every day and actually every minute and every second is an opportunity to start again. We don't have to wait until January 2022 to change our lives if we don't quite manage it by the end of this month. You can do that at any point, at any stage. Really, January and New Year's resolutions is just an opportunity to step back and recognise that things can change, they don't have to stay the same. But I implore you to realise that you can do that at any stage of your life. It doesn't matter what month it is, it doesn't matter what day it is, even God is agreeing the sun is shining on my face as I say that. Um, you can do that anytime. So please do not feel pressured to change everything all at once or change anything at all if you don't want to. Reflect, go within, but look after yourself first and foremost, however that looks for you. Have a great year. Thank you.